Hello, hello, hello. Good Friday to everyone listening. Hey, my hope is that you are having a great week so far and that you're growing in your faith. We're going to continue our study from the book of Proverbs and we're going to ease right into chapter two. You see, early in this chapter, we were told that the Lord gives us wisdom to make right choices. Now, I don't know about you guys. I always like making right choices. I get really upset with myself when I don't make a right choice. So God's word gives me insight as to how to make right choices. But he also carries it a next step further. Now we're seeing a warning. This warning is a description of things to avoid, of, of, of things that God wants to make it clear that exactly what evil looks like, smells like, and tastes like. You see, truth is the protection of all evil. And in Proverbs 2, 12 through 19, and I'm going to encourage you to read that, it describes what to avoid. It just lets you know exactly what evil looks and smells like. But discretion, it says, will watch over you and understanding will guard you. And that doesn't mean it's going to keep you safe, but what it does do is it helps you make right choices in going in the right direction. You see, God's truth helps you recognize when you're going the wrong direction. Any of you ever gone in the wrong direction besides me? Yeah, I've been there. I despise that going in the wrong direction. Uh, matter of fact, Clay and I travel quite often, and there's certain cities that we get to, and if we don't make a wrong turn, we're excited that we made it all the way through without making a wrong turn. But most of the time, we'll make a wrong turn, and I'll look, and I'll say, well, we're holding true to form, made a wrong choice. God never wants us to make a wrong choice. You see, the Holy Spirit that was given to us when we accept to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that guides us in the path of righteousness or in the right direction. Be warned about people who rejoice in evil. If you ever known someone that, that, that likes being around evil or perversion or walks a crooked path, you know, sounds a lot like what we're seeing on our daily networks today, day in and day out, about what's happening in cities that are around us. Just pure evil. Why do we want to be aware of evildoers? Not to isolate ourselves, but it's to insulate ourselves. So we won't make choices that will bring shame on our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Men, we receive a strong warning to stay away from forbidden women with smooth words. And by the way, don't you guys be using smooth words to try to convey a woman to make a wrong choice. And here's the warning, because her house sinks you down to death, the sin of death. God desires each of us to walk the way of good and keep to the path of righteousness. So here's my challenge. Spend time in God's word daily. Study it, know it, know what it says. And not only know what it says, put it into practice what it teaches you. Let's pray. Father, thanks. Thanks that you give us a warning. Thanks that you make it really clear of things that we should and shouldn't do in our lives. But most of all, thank you for never abandoning us, always staying with us, always loving us, always encouraging us, always pointing us in the right direction through the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' strong name we pray. Amen. Hey, I hope the rest of your day and weekend is fantastic. See you this weekend in worship. God bless you.